All right, guys, so in this video, I'm going to be reacting to and breaking down Derek Solo in The Sky is Crying. It's the live version at Red Rocks. Now, I remember being completely blasted by this a while ago when I first heard it, but I haven't heard it in a little, in a little bit of time. So let's just get straight into it and see how it goes. All right. Oh, All right. This build up, man, dynamics. Do I even need to say anything? <laughs> it's speechless, you know, and, and I've heard this a few times before, so I don't get the full gravity of being blown away the first time ever, but speechless, man, it's, it's perfect. It, it's perfect. The phrasing, these vocal lines, it's just perfect. <laughs> just the way he rith like times these phrases, uh, these sequences of notes rhythmically, my, my God. So, enough of me fanboying over over his playing. Let's let's break down what he's doing. I'll well, try to. There are some. It, it's mostly a minor pentatonic to my ear. Although there are a couple cool things that I heard over the five chord. But let's um, let me find the timestamp so we can get straight into this. Uh, 
Ah, so that lick right there. Right, so it's kind of mixing major and minor pentatonic. This is something that he's a master of. So first he's starting, he's going up to this, this six and then to the one. And then he's going down, doing this Dwayne Allman lick, the flat seven, uh, five, four, minor third, uh, one thing. So six, one, flat seven, and then that Dwayne lick. So I talked about it more in the last video, the Worried Down with the Blues solo. So if you haven't heard it before, if you, had, if you haven't heard me talk about it before, go check out that video. What's next? Oh. Uh. So this is... <laughs> Classic Derek vocal lines, right? He's sliding up to this five. Man, it's so. And, and notice how he just, he hits that note, no vibrato, just goes for it. I love that. Right then he trills down from a four to minor third right there. Jesus. <laughs> oh, so he goes, oh my god, let me... So he's going straight up the minor pentatonic scale there. One. One minor third, four, five. And then straight up to the one. So, uh... He's skipping that flat seven in between, but he's doing this, this swell into. Crazy, crazy stuff. And then he's coming back down from that one. And then doing flat seven, five, and then the Dwayne Allman thing, the five, four, minor third. Uh, one. So let me try to get that one more time. Ooh. Man, that's so good. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, so... <laughs> This is something, you know, I don't know theory-wise how exactly this works out. If you know, just leave a comment, but he's doing... This is over the five chord, no? Yeah, yeah, so over the five chord, he's doing one major seven, then five flat five over... Oh. So let's listen to that one more time. Uh, a little back further. Oh. <laughs> so good. Ooh, 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 ooh. So what is he doing? Yeah. Huh, he's doing... To my ear, that sounds like a fi five, maybe... Maybe even going a little further. And then one. And then that Dwayne lick again. So if you've been noticing, he's been using that Dwayne Almond style lick a bunch so far. So let's keep going. Uh, uh. Something like that? Let's go back. Uh. So. Woo! So it's a. Uh. Right, okay, so it's. I see. 
So what he's doing here is he's sliding up to the one on the B string, then seven flat seven five, and then trilling. Oh uh, wait, hang on. Right, so trilling from flat five. Uh, Jesus, trilling from five to four, and then doing this that quick slide up from minor third four, uh, minor third four five and then minor third on the G sharp, and then one on the E. So let's just listen to that one more time. It's so good and smooth. And then he's ending that with, right, set up the, the second time around. Woo! <laughs> so that's just, uh, that's just six one, minor third, and then, you know, it's really that, what's really important about this is the, see, so slightly coming off that minor third and then sliding into it again. So, let's keep going, because this just gets wild. Ah! Uh. So again, it's the same kind of thing. So, uh, six one, flat third, one, one, one to flat seven, five to four. That's madness. Woo! Let's, let's like, get the whole phrase. sounds like something like that um, it sounds like you know it's, it's mostly minor pentatonic stuff but what's cool is that he's starting off on the six which is part of the major scale it's not part of the minor pentatonic scale so it gives more of that major kind of inflection at the start and then you know we get to this note, which, and I kind of should, I kind of want to stop and talk about this for a second. So we get to this note, right, which is the fourth, which is both a part of the minor pentatonic scale and the major scale. So you can lean on this either way. You can, you know, lean more major and do something like this. Or you can lean more minor after you get to the fourth. So you can do... Right, and, and this is what he does in this part of the solo, right? He starts a little more major and then goes minor. So what he's doing, he's doing six, one, then four, then slides up to five, and then minor third one kind of thing, and then he's coming back on this B string and hitting those same notes, the minor third, four, five, except he's an octave down. So that's what it sounds like to me. He's in this area where he's, you know, minor third, four, five, and he's trilling. And then he's getting down to the one. So I like to kind of think of these licks as, as bridge building, advanced bridge building. So he's really, really in some uncomfortable areas on the neck. The most comfortable area on the neck is this home base where you have all these licks where all the notes are right. But once you start getting outside of that, things get to be a little more difficult. And in this case, I like to bridge gaps between notes that I'm comfortable with. So, like in this in this case, for example, he's up here, very uncomfortable. Then he gets back to home base, which is very comfortable. And then he's getting out again. He's in this place away from home base on the B string, but then back on the one down here. And the one is very comfortable because I know the intervals around the one. I know a full step down is the flat seven. Full step and a half up is the minor third. So that's how I think of these licks. I kind of break them down that way. But anyway, let's keep moving. Oh my god. That's 
what it sounds like to me. Well, let's, let's, let's listen back. I'm just noodling at this point. Uh, I guess I should say, so before he goes on to this next, uh, these next phrases, he's doing them. So this is another one of those Dwayne Hallman things where it's just like the one, flat seven, five, four, and then he comes back and does it again. So one flat seven, five, four, slide from five to four, and then tease that minor third a little bit on the G sharp. Oh. He's on the G sharp, I think. That's what it sounds like to me. And he's going back and forth between five, minor third, so, uh, five, sorry, five minor four, five minor third, four, minor third, then back down to one. <laughs> that's, that's crazy, so. <laughs> Jesus, okay, let, let's try to get it. I think he goes, uh, right, he goes up to that, you know, he's done this before where he goes one on the B string, then down flat seven, five, and then that Dwayne Allman lick. Okay, so let's keep going. Ah. Uh. So when he's over this five chord, which in the key of D is an A, he's playing over that A chord. And you don't normally hear him do this. He's usually staying pretty true to the uh, minor major scale corresponding to whatever key the song is in. He usually doesn't move much with the chords, but in this case he is. So over this five, He's doing that, so he... Interesting, so he is, if we're thinking just over the five chord, like in terms of intervals in terms of the five chord, I should say, he's doing five flat seven, one, and then major two, so second. And then I, you know, this is, let's, let's keep listening. He does the same thing over the four chord. So you kind of can hear the changes without having a rhythm guitar player behind you. So. And then he does something like that. So that's interesting. And he's doing that same kind of thing over the four chord. So if we're thinking about just the four chord and the intervals corresponding to what would be a G, it would be five, flat seven, one, two. It's playing with, with those sequence of notes. So that's something to know, and hopefully it makes my, my explanation makes sense. Um, so great, let's keep moving. So yeah, then he goes back, I think he goes the minor third, just home bass. Then does that Dwayne thing. So, keep going. Then he starts the phrase off with that. So now he's in this BB box area where the one here is on the B and the minor third, four and five are below and on the high E. Ah, so something like this, right? So he's going up to that flat seven, then uh, five, four, minor, third, one, and that, that Dwayne Allman kind of like just to end it off, so. Uh, 
That's it. That's the crazy one right there. Absolutely ridiculous. Let's listen. To something like that right so again it's it's these it's that interplay between the minor third and four and the way he phrases it he really takes his time something like that let's keep rolling oh no he does oh what is he whoa we gotta go back how does he end that? So it actually sounds to me like he's ending off the phrase like this. So he starts. Something like that. So he's going five, four, minor, third, and then four, minor, third, one. And then I think he ends it off by sliding up to that minor third. Let's keep going. That's it. That's it. So, oh, awesome. So he's really he's teasing the major scale now. Yeah, that's. So what notes are those? So, he, so he's sliding up to the flat seven there. Let's listen back one more time. God. So, okay, excellent. So I see. So he's adding in the sixth. Remember how I said before, the sixth kind of, kind of gives it that major feel. So what he's doing is flat seven, then mid, and then six, and then five, four, right? And the five, four are both part of the major scale and the minor pentatonic scale. Right, so this is where you see kind of the interplay between minor and uh, major pentatonic, or minor pentatonic and the major scale. So let's just listen one more time. Same thing. Red BB box area. Dwayne. More Dwayne. So. Uh, So let's listen back to that. So he's he's going. Something like that. So that's just the BB box area. One, minor third, four, five, one area. And then he's doing more Dwayne stuff. Right, straight down, uh, straight down those strings, getting back to the one. So let's keep going. Same thing. There it is. <laughs> so he's he's now we're at the five chord. So he's doing. Then he just absolutely starts shredding. So, <laughs> right. That's what it sounds like to me. So he's sliding up, teasing that five, not quite getting there. Then minor third one. So, 
and then and then he does it again. Then that Dwayne kind of lick. All right, we got we gotta listen to that one more time. So. <laughs> Oh. So, so great, so. <sighs> Speechless, man, that's, that's the stuff that gives me chills. That's, that's it, so that's. So first he's doing one, one, minor third, heavy inflection. Five. He's teasing it, but he's not quite getting there. So it's like that kind of crying sound. And then flat seven. And then up to the one on that high E. So. Something like that. So he's just going between one and flat seven. Then he does flat seven, uh, one, flat seven. And then it sounds like he's reaching for the, the four minor third one. Then doing that Dwayne Allman lick all the way down the neck, that's just absolutely insane. One more time. <laughs> Something like that. So he's um, going in between the B and the G sharp, five to four, then sliding up into that uh, flat third on G sharp. This is a very common Dwayne Allman lick. So the. That's the Statesboro blues solo kind of thing. So then he's just playing around in that area and I hear him hit the flat seven. And then go into that five, four, minor third, one thing. So let's keep rolling. <laughs> oh my God. to listen to that a thousand more times before I'll get it. Okay, so I had something like that. That was actually pretty close. So we're starting on the one. One. And then he's going down the minor pentatonic scale in that way. So it's so one, five flat seven, four five, minor third, one minor third. And then it sounds like he's going to the B string in this uh, minor third, four five area. And then he's getting to that leg at some point, which we've, which he's done in this solo a few times. The one flat seven, five, Dwayne Allman. So let's keep it rolling, we're almost done. Yes, so he's done this a bunch. This is the same thing as that BB box area. The same notes, the four, I mean, I'm sorry, the one. Minor third, four, five, and then back to the one on that on that E. So let me just just to be clear, it's the one on the on the E string, and then minor third, four, five on the G sharp. So. All right, well, let's listen to that one more time because it sounds like it's.
So he's doing this, um, what it sounds like to me is he's playing with this one flat seven, one, two uh, thing, you know, all the way up here and on the octave D fret. So one more time. Yep. So, so then he's in this BB box here. Something like that. Let's listen one more time. Yep. Then he's coming back here. Or, then doing that Dwayne Allman thing. And then he just ends off the solo by going up to this octave. And, and that's it. Yeah, and then and then down here, which is uh, third, five, and then five on the low B. Ooh, and we made it to the solo. So let's pause it there. Yeah, so that's a one of the best solos I've ever heard from him and from anybody. Um, so whoever suggested this one, this was a great choice and I hope I've broken it down sufficiently so you kind of get most of the ideas that he's going for. Again, it's, it's not too complicated. It's mostly a minor pentatonic with throwing in the six occasionally to give it more of a major feel. Um, and he, he was doing some stuff over the, over the five chord and the four chord where he was playing based on the chord the chord tone soloing but nothing crazy because it's only a blues um but hopefully you got a lot out of this video and if you enjoyed it please drop a like and subscribe thank you